once again YouTube this is Mia your YouTube broadcaster signing in to give you the latest news and updates on blockchain today now for this video we'll be talking about one or the first featured article on today's newsletter at preferredcurrency.news but before we go to the article guys I would just like to invite you all to join us with this new initiative Q program here now guys, Initiative Q is an attempt by ex-PayPal guys to create a new payment system instead of the existing old credit card system that was designed way back in the 1950s. Now, the system uses its own currency called the Q and to get people to start using the system once it's ready, they are allocating Qs for free to people like you who sign up now. Now guys, the amount drops later as more and more people join, so it's better for you to join now while it's free and it's still early. Signing up at Initiative Q is completely free and they only ask for your name and an email address. There's nothing to lose, but if this payment me um, method goes a long way, your um, queues can be worth a lot. So, if you missed getting Bitcoin 7 years ago, you wouldn't want to miss this one. Now, here is your limited special invite link in the description below. Um, um, what are you waiting for, guys? Click it now and don't get left behind with this one. You see, the link shown will stop working once we are out of free invites. So, again, guys, join us here with this new Initiative Cure program. And, okay, so moving on. Let's go to the featured article for the day here. So how Bitcoin, Ethereum and Ripple backed loans will change crypto. Let me just take this out here. There. Now the advent of cryptocurrency backed loans will have profound ramifications on the crypto markets. Although several exchanges and credit companies have tried to enter the space, none of them have achieved market dominance. The idea of cryptocurrency backed loans have existed for a while. Many ICOs have successfully raised money for the idea, and currently there are several dubious companies operating in the space. Additionally, there are also a number of smart contracts that allow for decentralized lending on the Ethereum blockchain. That said, none of these services have gained considerable traction. Now, the obstacles to establishing a reputable lending company are many, and consequently, the industry will either need to consolidate or wait for a large player to enter the market. However, once there is a major player, these cryptocurrency collateralized loans will have a profound impact on cryptocurrency investors and users. These services would increase market liquidity, make obtaining crypto easier, and decrease the transaction cost of acquiring crypto. Here. How crypto collateralized loans work? Crypto loans work by utilizing a deposit of Bitcoin, Ethereum, Ripple, or another major cryptocurrency as collateral. Prior to obtaining a loan, a borrower is first assessed for creditworthiness. Oftentimes, a borrower's credit score, demographic data, and online activity are assessed to determine creditworthiness. The score obtained from this data determines the loan's interest rate and the ratio of collateral needed for the loan. Then a borrower deposits cryptocurrency and receives a fraction of its value in fiat or another asset. Depending on whether the issuer of that fiat is an organization or an individual determines whether the loan is peer-to-peer -peer or a conventional institutional loan. These collateralized loans are an important service for cryptocurrencies. A robust credit industry around crypto collateralized loans would benefit adoption and reduce the complications associated with owning crypto. If a reliable, well-regulated crypto credit industry existed, 
it would benefit users in three main ways. One is reducing tax burden, two, providing trading leverage, and three, erasing crypto to crypto conversion. Reducing tax burden. Taxes under U.S. Generally Accepted Accounting Principles, or GAAP, and globally recognized International Finance Financial Reporting Standards, or IFRS, are a major concern for cryptocurrency users. Transactions such as exchanging one cryptocurrency for another or using cryptocurrency to purchase a good or service trigger capital gains and losses. In the United States, the tax on short-term capital gains is a whooping 30%. Many other countries have capital gains taxes around its, this figure. By using an intermediary lender, a user can prevent these taxes. If someone borrows fiat using cryptocurrency as collateral, purchases made with that fiat do not incur capital gains or losses. Furthermore, such lending allows crypto holders to spend fiat while waiting for long-term capital gains to apply to holdings. In the U.S., if cryptocurrency is held for a year or more as an investment, then those gains are given favorable tax treatment with a 10% long-term capital gains tax. Providing Trading Leverage Another benefit of cryptocurrency collateralized loans is margin trading. Margin trading is the practice of borrowing funds against a financial asset such as stocks or crypto to amplify gains or losses from market movement. Many major exchanges like BitMEX, Bitfinex, Poloniex, and Kraken already offer margin trading. However, the terms of this service can oftentimes be predatory, with high collateral requirements, exorbitant interest rates, and unreliable service. Access to loans can provide another mechanism for margin traders to gain additional leverage. A competitive market for these loans would mean lower interest rates and lower collateral requirements. Erasing crypto to crypto conversions. The final benefit of collateralized loans is easing of trading friction. Trading friction occurs when it is difficult to direct the exchange to assets with limited liquidity or when the costs of trading one asset to another are high. An example of trading friction is when someone is trying to purchase an obscure altcoin using another altcoin. Because the liquidity in such markets is low, then the spread of such transaction is high, meaning higher trading costs. To circumvent these issues, most users first convert into an intermediary such as Ethereum or Bitcoin before trading into the other altcoin but this trade also incurs its own costs. Lending services can ease trading friction. Furthermore, some players in this market are exploring crypto-to-crypto -crypto loans. These loans would allow a user to borrow one cryptocurrency against another. For example, using Bitcoin as collateral to borrow Ethereum. These kinds of loans would increase the liquidity of these markets and consequently decrease transaction friction. However, to have a noticeable impact on trading friction, these services would need to gain more traction. Yeah. Risks uh, with collateralized loans. Although these kinds of loans offer a solution to some of the in inconveniences of crypto, there are also a number of risks involved. First, margin calls on a loan from price volatility can penalize a borrower. Second, crypto-related lending is ripe with Ponzi schemes and scams. And finally, regulators can disrupt legitimate firms in the industry. Margin calls. Given the vol volatility of cryptocurrency, 
every time there is a drop in prices, there is the possibility of a margin call. A margin call happens when the value of the deposit decreases and the lender needs additional collateral or requires the lender to sell existing collateral to cover potential losses. Many cryptocurrencies that would be used as collateral for these loans are extremely volatile. Even if the price tanks for a fraction of the second, it would tr still trigger a margin call and liquidate some or all of a borrower's collateral. Potential for scams. As highlighted in the TechCrunch expose, between one third and one fourth of the 3,500 crypto backed lending platforms in China were either Ponzi scams or schemes, were involved in police investigations, or made it difficult for users to withdraw deposited funds. These findings are not limited to Chinese lending platforms. Lending around cryptocurrency is rife for scams, especially peer-to-peer -peer lending. Oftentimes, these companies operate on the fringes of the law and take advantage of the decentralized nature of crypto. When these unscrupulous companies go out of business, those that suffer the consequences are often the users. If a loan provider were to default or worse yet steal user deposits, then borrowers usually have limited recourse given that these companies usually operate out of countries with loose regulations. Regulatory risks. On the other end of the spectrum, regulators themselves are also a risk to this industry. Entering major markets such as the United States, Europe, China, or South Korea require an enormous investment in legal compliance. Through the introduction of new regulation or, or the more stringent enforcement of existing regulation, regulators can seriously hamper lending companies. As much as regulation is necessary for a fair and trustworthy credit market, regulation can also be an in, in impediment for legitimate firms. The future of lending. Cryptocurrency collateralized loans are a valuable service in the space. These loans would lessen the tax burden increase the ease of trading, and reduce the cost of conversion for cryptocurrency users. The market is ready for a legitimate firm to enter the industry, whether that in trance is an ICO that achieves breakout success, an incumbent crypto company like Coinbase entering the space, or a traditional player such as Square Inc. exploring loans the industry is waiting for a reliable source of credit. As the industry matures around cryptocurrency, its uses and utility will rise with it. As its core, the price of any technology is tied with the value it provides its users. Financing and credit is just one more value add application. All right, guys, so that is the first article. And that is featured on the newsletter for the day at preferredcurrency.news. So guys, what can you say how Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Ripple back loans will change crypto? Share with us your opinions in our comment section there below. And of course, guys, you can always have your own copy of our newsletter directly sent to your email simply by going to the website preferredcurrency.news now here, once you are in the website, all you have to do is go down and click on the link that says PayPal, where you can pay 15 US dollars per month on a recurring basis, or you can also pay at Coinbase for $180 per year with your favorite crypto handled by Coinbase. And after you do that, you start to receive our newsletter 12 hours ahead of our broadcast here on YouTube. And of course, guys, here is the current issue of our newsletter for the day, November 15. Now, here is the article. 
that we've read earlier and we have two articles here that um, are featured for the day and we have websites here that you guys should look into now let's go to the first website here which is the eosauthority.com slash alerts now guys this is a great website where you can get alerts about your eos transactions such as incoming or outgoing transfers changes or additions to the keys airdrop sent to the account actions authorized by the account or any ecaf arbitration notices also um eos authority performs as a block producer where it deals professionally with technical matters or issues of arbitration and governance and here guys um, you can advertise what you have for sale in exchange for eos and also what you would like to buy at our website as follows now here in your chrome browser you can go to eosmarketplace.news to add your listings so here now this is a google sheet where you can add your items that you want to sell in exchange for eos so guys um, if you have any vacation rentals real estate boats or services that you want to sell in exchange for eos you can post them here now don't you worry this sheet is very accessible and it does not require any membership fee all you just need to do is type in the name of the item you want to sell under the general category which is on column b the description or a definition of your item here on column c any link to the website for the description such as photos or images here on column f and of course guys your contact information such as phone number email address skype id telegram or other contact method or whatsapp so that our buyers will know how to reach you again guys if you have something there that you want to sell in exchange for eos you can go to the website eosmarketplace.news and add your listings there and then here you can go to pcn.today for the latest news on blockchain and also go to marketplace.pcn.today to place your additional listings you can also go to profitcurrency.news if you wish to become a web subscriber and our web subscribers can also go to twitter.com slash profit crypto and then here to get started you can sign up at pro.coinbase.com to change some us dollars into bitcoin so that you can then transfer that bitcoin to the binance exchange here at binance.com where uh, you can change your bitcoin into eos if you wish then you can download the free eos things wallet from google play store or your favorite app store so that you can use eos most easily and here you can also click here to see how to get free tokens for holders of eos just be sure to click and explore all the links in each issue of this newsletter and you can also click here to see um, a good place to advertise whatever you have for sale or for rent in exchange for eos tokens and here guys we have an important announcement to please contact the publisher Donald the Guru if you have not transferred all of your EOS off the exchange yet. You need to have your EOS in an actual wallet where you control the private key in order to get the latest newest free airdrops coming soon. The newer airdrops will not be based on the original Genesis snapshot and the ECS mobile wallet is currently EOS links. You can contact Donald by phone at 1-801-601-8105 or on WhatsApp at 1-801-471-6939 if you need help with this. And here guys, now this is the great part once you subscribe to our newsletter is that you get to see Donald's research list as to what he thinks are the most important coins or tokens are to be researched today based on fundamentals now these are the ones that he thinks and is most definitely researching today and invites you to do the same if you like so here 
let's just click on the tab here to see Donald's research list where um, you'll see um, his analysis for the day November 15. Now guys, here on column A are the names of the coins or tokens. Now take note that the red ones have negative news, orange or tan are neutral, yellow are fair, green have good news, and blue shows the best news. On column B is the US dollar resin price. On column C is the share of total market volume. On column D, Google searches compared to past 7 days. On column E, 50 candle SMA movement. On column F, number of positive technical indicators. On column G, 24 hours current volume versus price. On column H, 7 days weekly volume versus price. On column I, 30 days monthly volume versus price. And here on column J is the percent issued. Now take note guys that this sheet is not a recommendation for you to buy or sell crypto. But if you decide that you would like some, always consider offering about 20% below the current market price whenever you place buy limit orders. And of course guys, after you've opened the spreadsheet, you could always have your own copy simply by clicking the word file here on the upper left corner, then click make a copy. After that, you can rename the document if you want to, then click OK so that you could have your own version, which you can modify to your own purposes and research. And you can also add columns, personal notes, and information to your own file copy there. And then here also, below will uh, we'll show you a list of the coins that has the most high volume change, interesting technical price action, high weekly trade volume, and high Google search activity. And now here, guys, we have a great program to you, all crypto lovers out there, where you can become an affiliate for preferredcurrency.news and earn your crypto each month. Now you can invest your time in our affiliate program where you can earn affiliate commissions for seven levels deep. But here, um, you should not post your uh, private or you should not post your affiliate link in public forums or comments, but do it as private messages only after you chat with a friend or owner of another channel or account. Now, it's very easy to enroll. All you just have to do is click on the image here on the newsletter, or you can go to the website preferredcurrency.news and um, click on the affiliate tab on the upper right corner, enroll, do your first blog, and there you can earn your crypto. It's very easy, guys. And if you have... Um, other questions regarding this one, you can always contact the publisher because he really wants to connect with you personally. Now guys, you can contact Donald the Guru through the following here. Phone number at 1-801-601-8105. WhatsApp at 1-801-471-6939. Telegram at preferredcurrency.news and our subscribers can follow him on Twitter at Preferred Crypto. There. And now also, for training on how to use your Preferred Currency spreadsheet, you can always click on the link here for our YouTube channel which is called Preferred Currency News and subscribers can follow us on our private subscribers Twitter at Preferred Crypto for alerts and updates between issues. You can also email us to let us know your Twitter so we know how to approve you and we invite other YouTube channels out there to freely review and analyze our data and we hope that you embrace our affiliate program. Now also here guys below are some links that you uh, might want to look into. So here. There. Alright, so that's it for this video guys. Now all of the information provided here is for your news review and education entertainment only and not to be taken as financial advices. 
because here we are not financial advisors and we highly recommend that you do your own research regarding all of the information we provided for you to make decisions for yourself. Now guys, this channel and the website preferredcurrency.news is simply a gathering of the rumors and research available online each day. Right, so I just want to thank you all for watching this video and if you like this, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more updates. This is once again Mia, your YouTube daily broadcaster, is signing off and I'll see you on my next video. Until then guys, take care and see you.